Hi, I'm Lita Ridium. Hope you're doing all right today. Another album review by the band Victory. So Gods of Tomorrow is the album. Got this sent to me by AFM Records. What a great label, man. Um, and AFM are just superb. Along, you know, the, along with Frontiers, they're really driving that heavy rock and metal music. Um, so this is the first album by Victory in 10 years. Not really got a pass with Victory. Um, so as far as their older discography i've got nothing to compare it to all i can tell you is this album is an absolute rocker it's really great so out on november the 26th like i said on afm records german band um i'll go through the members in a minute uh, but they've been going since 1984 to the present this is the 11th album from victory on vocals jotty parcheridis i'm hoping i'm saying that right he's on vocals he's got a great sort of um voice for this album this is a real heavy sort of rock bordering on metal album and he's got that real sort of classy um, bit of a rasp in his voice just suits it perfectly down to the ground he's got a great voice herman frank on the guitar obviously from accept and also obviously he's brought out another album a solo album this year early on in the year um he's just brilliant on the guitar man what a good what a guitarist play some it's riffs all over this album. It's great guitar solos all over this album. I don't even want to say the name of the next person. It's just ridiculous how I can actually um, say this name because everyone knows I can't pronounce anything. And Right, here we go. Christos Mamilitsidis on the guitar. <laughs> Brilliant on the guitar as well. Just him and Herman Frank are just fantastic on this. Peter Pischel on the bass. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And Michael Wolpers on the drum. These guys are just, they keep it. I tell you, there's a real groove to this. Just like Herman Frank, I think he's, he writes songs that have a real rock and metal groove that just gets you going a bit like Accept as well. And I think these the bass and guitarist um, and the drummer are just fantastic. They just keep it so tight and sometimes really simple how you want it in this sort of music. I'm going to run through the tracks, uh, but let me tell you, this is a great heavy rock stroke metal album. Um, really recommend this uh, for those people that love that sort of guitar driven sort of music. It's great. So we start off with the intro. It's called Intro Love and Hate because it goes into the second, like the first song proper, which is Love and Hate. It's about 45 seconds long. Just a cool riff to sort of tease you into the song. Then Love and Hate kicks off. That riff kicks the sort of um the track off properly and you get a tight the first feel that real tight groove feel like feel track bass and drums really sort of honed in here perfectly some acdc influence i would say especially in the verses a great heavy rock and roll track to kick the album off next up you got gods of tomorrow this was a single <laughs> fast track the rock and roll vibe continues at a faster pace though a song full of frenetic riffing the energy is really ramped up as well great single gods of tomorrow um cut to the bone is next this was another single a simple rocking riff and a great running bass line during this song it's when you get to this track, you realise what you're going to properly get throughout the album. It's this heavy rock and roll, like I've mentioned before. Guitar driven with loads of energy. Next up is Dying In Your Arms. Bit of a change up of pace slightly here. you sort of slow to medium. You can't really call this a ballad. Although obviously what you've had so far is sort of the ballad, you know, compared to what you've had. Um, but you have clean guitar, but there's heavy riffing throughout, especially the chorus. A great track whatever you would call it whether it's a ballad or not it gives a bit of a different side to the band here next up is hold on me back to that heavy groove laden riffs again a great stomping bass drives the verses this is a real head bopper for sure that gets you in that groove again a real fun chorus rounds off a great track into the light is next this is a faster paced track guitars in and out of chugging and some groovy riffs to keep that energy ramped up in this song. It's a great song. Mad is next. Now, this is a bit of a standout track for me. Slow to medium pace, quite a cool intro. 
I was sort of thinking it was going to be an instrumental. It's had that sort of sound to it, like it could be, and it turns out to be a real highlight on the album. You get a sort of great repeated riff through the verses, and it goes into an even better uplifting chorus. I love the slow to medium pace on this. I think it ramps it up and it gets you in that groove again. Unconditional Love is next. This is a really catchy song. It has a real catchy, hooky feel to it. Still heavy guitar-wise, but has an almost AOR feel to it. So it's got that AOR sensibilities with heavy guitar. A real hooky chorus, another highlight of the album. My Own Desire is the 10th track. It's got a great sort of Jakey Lee-esque metal riff kicking it off, and there's a brilliant metal groove driving this one along. We get a heavy double kick drum chorus as well, so it's a real heavy chorus. Great song. On Fire's next. Love this one. As soon as this one starts, you know it's a belter. It's a great medium paced stomping track. The heaviness really ramps up with a heavy riff coming in and out of the verses and the stomp returns in the chorus. Rising Force is next. More of a metal track this time. Faster pace with that rock groove as well. I love the chugging in and out with the heavy riffing and that tight bass line driving the song again. In Rock We Trust. What a great title for a song. Slow to medium paced. This is the 13th track. This is where the band really sound great when they get in that slow to medium paced groove of rock and metal. A great, great title to a song, like I said. Dominic would love the title of this song. And the band do a great job of gang vocal just to make it even better. Another great track. And then we finish off with Leave You Alone. This is like a bonus track. But it's a fucking great track. Um, this is a really hooky track. The chorus is a real standout on the album. A really solid album here for sure. Um, so yeah, I actually prefer this than Herman Frank's solo album. I think the Victory stuff, when you're comparing those two albums, I think this beats uh, Herman Frank album to the post for me. This pips it to the post. Uh, they're both great, but this one has a real groove to it, which I love. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I think the vocalist transcends it even further um, up that ladder of greatness, for sure. So, Victory, Gods of Tomorrow. Check it out on AFM Records, November the 26th. Recommended. I'll see you next time.